Welcome back. What's going on, guys? Look, I have perfect lighting today. This is insane. This never happens for me. I always have proper light. Uh, anyway, what's up? I wanted to talk to you guys about something because we're back in the shop, and it's another going to be. We're going to do another one of these things of what's up next. So, what's up next is a water system. I've wanted a temporary water system, something that I can move in and move out. If I go on a hike, something I can take. Um, and just something I can use as utility water inside uh, the camper. Well, I think we've got it. So, let's check them out. All right, guys. So, um, quick catch up. Yes, uh, the bicep is torn. I don't know if you guys can tell, like I can do this with it here. Uh, I can't do anything with it. The bruising's still real bad. And obviously I don't have a bicep anymore, it's gone. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. I went to a, a PT and he did some electronic um, stimulation to the muscle, kind of get me out of the cramping position and allow me to get off the pain pills. And so now I'm able to operate. This is about a week after I talked to you guys in the last video. Anyway, theoretically, I'm supposed to get an MRI tomorrow, and if that's the case, then tomorrow I'll have the MRI, and most likely Tuesday morning, this coming Tuesday morning, which would be the, like, uh, it would be uh, the 23rd. The 23rd, uh, I'd probably have surgery. Then I'm gonna be out for a while. And what he was saying was like two and a half months. So let's, you know, prayers, all that stuff, let's beat that, I wanna beat that. Um, because I'm gonna miss filming for you guys, I really am. I'm gonna miss all of this. And uh, I don't know how how successful I'll be doing much in the first few weeks, so I hate to say it, but um, I'm assuming coming in a few weeks, it'll be the first time I've ever missed a video or a short or a live in oh, well over two years. I've never missed a video, so I'm super depressed about that. It is what it is. Uh, that being said, that's where I'm at, and I appreciate all of you guys jumping out on the thread and the live video and, and, and showing me your support. I'm missing Flagstaff uh, Expo West. I'm supposed to be already on the road, uh, camping in Gaia National Forest, and then on into uh, uh, Apache, and then uh, Concho National Forest in Arizona, and then from Arizona over in eastern Arizona up to Prescott, and from Prescott up into Flagstaff, and, and doing a lot of big things. And I was bringing a lot of, I, I have hats and sweaters and, or hoodies and shirts, and new patches and new stickers and I had all kinds of stuff ready for you guys um, but life happens guys and um, God knows he just knows so that being said um, he points us in the right direction all the time whether it doesn't seem like the right direction uh, I assure you it is so let's jump in good seeing you guys so anyway, what I was saying in the intro is what I've been looking for is a, is a water system that I can move in and out and use for cooking, put on a camping table if we're next to a table, uh, a campsite that has, is lucky enough to have a camp table, uh, but at the same time, something that I can uh, mount solidly in there and still use as well in the same fashion. So this is the best product I've seen. It's a hard cased, cooler style, almost three gallon water tank by Dometic. And it's 2.9 liters. And I can't imagine something more efficient for, say, making a uh, double and single cup of coffee, uh, put, putting a little water in a pan to make some noodles or something similar like that. And then, of course, the simple stuff like washing your face or brushing your teeth. Like, this is going to revolutionize how I do that. Usually I get my big uh, five-gallon uh, blue jug out and do, you know, transfer to different like, water containers. I'm not going to do that. When the Ursa Minor happens to uh, show up and get on this guy, I'm going to have one of those eight-gallon... Um, uh, road showers that has the ability to be heated on the side of it on the opposing side from the awning and so that'll be like long-term water for showering and stuff like that this will be stuff that I can you know quickly fill up with you know at a grocery store or a gas station or something like that uh, for the easy things the neatest thing about it is this this is a USB rechargeable battery operated pumping system in one so this right here let me zoom in here guys do you see this this has got its own hose, it's magnetic based, and you see the button right there. All you do is click that button and it starts moving the liquid out of, the, out of that jug into whatever container you're moving it to. I can't tell you how amazing that's gonna be. Now I'm gonna hard mount it, and I'll show you guys that here in a second, but 
for the price of this, I don't know any other way that you could make a actual electric pumped water system for three gallons um, that's removable, that's movable, that's portable for the money I spent on this. I think I think this is $99 and I think this is like $140. Either way, it'll be in my description so you can check it out down there. And speaking of descriptions, don't forget about that. If you look down below this video, you'll see my store going across. You don't have to pick specifically what's there, but if you click on that, it'll take you to the main store and then you can browse all the items that are in it. That being said, let's jump in. Okay, I found it. Here it is. Look at this guy. Here's the base. So I'll mount, I'll mount this base in there uh, where I can use it. And this is all something that I could do and not impede the way I packed. And so if you guys look at the base, the back of this, the, the neat thing about it, look at this, this is hilarious. So um, the neat thing about this Outback Adventures table is the magnetic properties. And once I get you guys focused here, it's out. <laughs> So there's a magnetic here, a magnet here, and a magnet here. So obviously they oppose. Pretty cool. Um, but the neat part about it is, is I'll be able to take this and I'm going to mount it right here. So I'll have potable water or potable and pumpable water right here. It'll pump right into this this here. So all I have to do is come up here with my cup, hit the button, it'll fill it up, and then I put it on the uh, jet boil, heat it up, and then I've got hot water. Those things are going to be super impressive for me. And then now that you can see the whole back end, I'll show you what I was talking about. So because of the heater hump and the refrigerator, the refrigerator's here, and the heater hump's here, I basically pack everything really nicely here in these bins. And so the neat thing about this is I'm going to install this guy, something like that. So that's how the setup will be. And from there, I'll easily be able to remove this out, put water in it, put it back in. And I'm going to have to build kind of like a my own personal attachment points because they don't make anything for it yet. And I'll show you that, but this is not an install video. This is just saying, hey, this is a great water system. And if you don't have one, you should check this out. It's seriously that good. You could put it anywhere in your car. If you had a small car or, or anything, you could put it, put it down behind the back seat, type it down there, and you could have this just sitting in your passenger seat. And as you're driving on the road, you can pick it up and go. I don't know anybody that's got a three gallon water buddy that they bring around, but. That's what it would work for. So anyway, that's my, that's conceptually, that's my idea. Because it's still up and out of the way. So everything I pack in here, it'll be out of the way and attached, you know, and anytime that I need to remove it, I'm gonna build something that'll uh, that's secure to here, but easily removable, take it out, go put water in it, put it right back here. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I came up with, and then we'll go from there. How does that sound? Anyway. Can you tell I'm so to see you guys back on camera? Look at this. Look at this. This is cheese. You know why this is cheese? I missed you guys. Um, I went through this arm was horrible uh, for a week. My girlfriend's been incredible. Um, she's been incredible. You gotta reach out to her on Instagram. Her name is Weeby Fit on Instagram. Weeby W E E B Y F I T. Support her on what she does. But you know, shout out to her and say hey. You know, thanks for taking care of Trip. You know. I know he's a big baby, but um, you know, I'm glad we're glad to have him back. But I'll tell you that she really has. She's been a godsend, and she's taken care of me every step of the way. I mean, she has to put my socks on, she has to put my shirt on, she has to. Anyway, I couldn't thank her enough. So, honey, uh, if you're watching, I love you. I appreciate it. Now, let's get on to how I'm gonna mount, shall we? So, ideally. You'll have to figure out how you can mount this in your uh, vehicle, your rig, uh, rooftop tent, in your uh, back canopy camper, whatever you got, whatever you can use. There's ways you can do it. So on the top of that heater deck, that's all three quarter inch plywood. So what I'm gonna do is, is I've made these, okay? And all this is, is a little 5 16th all thread. And I just took uh, a lock washer, a flat washer, and then this is a lock nut. That way it doesn't come loose. What I'm gonna do is I've measured the, the distance and width of the water tank and I've marked holes. So what I'll do is I'll run this up next to the tank on each side, like so, okay? And the tank will be in the middle of these things. And then from there, there's a small lip on the tank. And I went and got just some small steel out of my scrap pile, okay? This is like 
it's a little bit more than eight, right? But um, it's hardened. And so what I did is I drilled a hole and made a little bracket and then put a lip on it, okay? And so what it'll do is there's a lip on top of the water tank. So basically what I'll do is when I set it in, I'll put this, slide this down on the water tank and then it's simple. This is simple, guys. That's why I always tell you guys, um, there's a million ways to skin a cat, and I guarantee you, you guys know half of them, right? Well, it's simple. So what I'll do for a trail attachment is I'm just going to use a wing nut, okay? And then I'll just drive that wing nut down onto this bracket where this actual bracket grabs onto the lip of the tank, and I'll show you that. So if you look at this tank, it's got this lip right here. And so that bracket's just gonna set just like that. And I'll create downward pressure, which will attach it down with force to there. And that way, while I was telling you, I wanted it to be removable uh, and movable because not only, most times I can take my little hose that I use for filling up the stuff and just put it right in here and fill it up from whatever uh, apparatus I've got, whether it's a gas station uh, faucet or whatever. But at the same time, like I was telling you, if, if I'm doing something at a campsite that actually has a picnic table, which is nice, um, I can remove this whole system with just these, these two wing nut setups and then that can go with me and set actually on um, the picnic table and I can do all my cooking from there, set, set up everything there, keep it away from the back of the Bronco and it just makes it convenient, right? Because we're always transferring back and forth water, go get water bottles, fill these bottles up, like this will just make it so much easier. And so when we're talking about solution stuff, I want you guys to be able to think about things like this and, and think about when you go into buying them. I know everybody's kind of strapped for things now, just everything's more expensive and stuff. So think about conceptually, could you use it for multiple uses? Could I made some, you know, static washer, water system that was, you know, attached here and I couldn't move, but it was a big, wa big water system that had more water? Sure, I could attach some kind of apparatus there, a bigger tank, and just made the same kind of attachments and, and figured out how to find a pump on Amazon and all this other stuff. But this is something that's actually um, functional and we can take it and use it other places. And it has more uses than just camping. I can take this to work with me if you know I was going to be in a situation where I needed more water for, for drinking because it's out and I eat and stuff. So um, just think about it that way. So let's go ahead and get it put together, and then I'll show you how it all looks. So, thoughts? Like, I love it. Super sturdy, like it is not going anywhere. I can't even move it. So, now you can kind of see what I was going with. And then there's simple wing nuts. So if I need to take this out, I can simply just take the wing nuts off, pull these little clips and it'll come right out. Um, but it'll now stay where I want it. And filling it to breeze, I mean, you can do it this way um, and take this part off or you can do it from over here. So, however you want to fill it, doesn't really matter. That's it. You can take the cap off and fill it directly up. Um, but the neat thing is, is here's your water spout. So, you know, you can move it wherever you want. Right? Fill it up. Very simple. So, um, it attaches there, and I've got a little pull clip. Look at that. Good to go, right? Um, let me bring you guys in real close. So let's go ahead and jump right in here, see? So now, you can kind of see how it works. And I've just got one on that side of posing, and then one on this side of posing, and it just comes up, and it's a simple wing nut hook. See what I was talking about, guys? Ladies, real simple, and that is gonna take care of everything. And of course, this is a quick connect, so it comes right out when you need to, but then here's this, and then again, there's the magnetic base that it sits on, so on, on the trail, that's basically how it'll sit. And I could easily stick a piece of cup, a cup of coffee right here, get it filled, and then put it on the grill. So now I think you guys kind of understand why I wanted it that way. And the neatest thing about it is look, we're still right here and we've got all this room. So we're not affecting anything. So man, I'm pretty happy. So uh, you can see we've got it knocked out. A cool little mod I did is uh, 
the child seat mod, see that? <laughs> that's for Brielle, but anyway. Um, that's why I like having that rear flat deck system is the versatility. And now I've got a water system that works with it the same way. Um, remember, you know, I do have a Patreon. If you guys consider, you know, that at all, uh, I would appreciate the support, especially now with what's going on. Uh, me getting my arm fixed, I'm gonna be down for a while. I'm gonna need y'all's help and support. Um, that being said, I wanna quickly jump in and show you guys something. So, and let's talk about it. So you remember this, right? And this is that ARB um, uh, compressor control system that runs off your Bluetooth and, and apps to your phone and you can adjust the system that way. Well, I wanted you guys to know that I reached out to them. And so when I called that number, uh, the gentleman on the phone told me that I needed to uh, go ahead and create a support ticket and they would do the, the, whatever it took to get it um, uh, replaced. Well, the irony of that is I created the support ticket and the guy reached back out to me and he said, oh, well, even though it was brand new and you bought it from uh, Amazon and you have receipts for it, we're not going to do anything with it. Good luck. That's exactly what they said. And I went, wow. So I immediately shot back with them and said, that's great. You know what? I'm going to take this actual answer and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel with the follow-up video for it and see how the rest of your patrons love it because that's a pretty sad statement to say that you're going to stand by your parts and then now say because I bought it through a third tier vendor, brand new, with the receipt, within 20 days of purchasing it, uh, and it was bad, that you're not gonna stand by it? Immediately I got an email back saying, oh, never mind, actually, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna warranty that for you. It's gonna be a little while because the product is on back order, but as soon as we get them in, we're gonna ship them out to you. And I was like, you know what? It's pretty sad these days that you have to threaten somebody like that considering I just bought a part brand new, it was less than 20 days old, I installed it and it didn't work. I'm like, come on, man. So anyway, that's the update on it. As soon as we get it, we'll put it in and make it work. Uh, but again, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I appreciate you guys understanding with the erratic video setup right now uh, as I go through this transition and get surgery and all that stuff. But anyway, as always, I appreciate you. As always, give me a hug. Make the algorithms of YouTube supply you with what you want, not what it thinks you want. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, it's free, and it'll start showing you what you want instead of what it thinks you want. So let's do that, let's fight the big beast. And again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.